Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in our previous sessions, we have discussed about what is a social engineering attack and what is the life cycle of social engineering attack and also we have seen so different types of social engineering attacks and particularly these social engineering attacks are uh, we have experienced in this real world right so maximum i hope everyone have experienced at least one social engineering attack so in our previous session we have seen different types a human based social engineering attack and a technology based social engineering attacks so now in this session we'll see one more concept for this social engineering attacks how to prevent okay so how to not be get affected by these social engineering attacks so what are the preventive measures of social engineering attack right so the first one so be aware of unknown emails so we have seen one uh, type of uh, social engineering attack that is a phishing so where we'll get a uh, malicious links and uh, because of a curiosity if the user clicks on that link the user will be redirected to the malicious websites so where it will ask for the sensitive information you will, automatically the user will provide the information right so we should be very careful about the unknown emails so nowadays we are receiving a lot of unwanted emails in our inbox i think this you have been experienced right so don't open the unwanted emails don't open the emails which which are coming from the unknown persons and the second one don't click on the unwanted links this is also most important so in the phishing we have seen a different categories email phishing uh, spear phishing whaling wishing smishing so through the voice calls or through the sms right so you'll be getting an sms right so you you have to update your kyc otherwise your bank account will be got closed so complete the K, complete your kyc verification by clicking on this particular link within one day so you'll get such type of messages so with a curiosity or with a with a anxiety or uh, uh, with a less time so we'll just click on that particular link and automatically will provide the our information so don't click on unwanted links once you confirm that message and then you proceed with the links so you can contact with your bank accounts okay bank uh, bank manager or a bank branches so you contact with them and then only you just click on the link so without knowing the persons or without knowing the background don't open the unwanted links and the next one don't download the unknown files so this is one type of trojan horse right so we are uh, downloading uh, different files or different softwares from the internet so we we'll, we thought that uh, it is a legitimate uh, software or legitimate legitimate file but we don't know that there was some sort of malicious code will be downloaded through that particular file so don't download the unknown files okay and then this is the most important thing this is the most important thing so we need to educate the public so many of them don't know about these uh, type of uh, social engineering attacks so we should educate the public so that they'll be uh, careful while uh, i mean without affecting or by the social engineering attacks so this is the most important educate the public educate the public regarding these social engineering attacks which are being going going on in this real world nowadays right and then this is also most important update your antivirus software so we need to update regularly okay we need to update regularly the antivirus software so that uh, it can protect uh, our system or our data right and then don't give the sensitive information in the public network so this is most important because we are all use these uh, public uh, networks right in the bus stands or railway stations or any other public places we are supposed to use the wifi okay which they are providing right so don't use that public uh, service provider public networks and even though if you are using the public don't provide the sensitive information in that particular public network so while sitting in the railway station or while sitting in the bus stand 
so you can browse the internet but don't give any sort of sensitive information that means any kind of your information in that public network that's the most important and the thing that don't use the same password for a different accounts so we'll be having a different accounts right so don't use the same password for all the different accounts and also one more important thing so keep on changing the password so don't use the password for long days so this we experienced it with the banking applications so if you are using any net banking internet banking so only as some up to some particular period the existing password will be used so after some particular period it will prompt for change the password so we should not use the same password for a long time so we need to change the passwords and also use a, a very uh, complex passwords or a tough passwords don't use the simple passwords okay so don't use the same password for the different accounts so maintain different accounts and with the different passwords and think twice before you click so if you so this is related to our second point that means don't uh, click on the unwanted links so if you trust that this is a genuine uh, link so think twice enquire with the particular authority and then you click so think twice before you click so you will be receiving a lot of links nowadays so blindly don't click on that links and provide the information go with the background check and then you just proceed with the given link and the next use a multi factor authentication this is also most important so for any account there will be multi factor authentications so just make use of this process i mean this multi factor authentication not only the password it will also generate the otp if the otp is perfect then only you will be logging to the account so such a way just use the multi factor authentication and the next verify email sender identity email sender identity this is also most important while using the email phishing so immediately after getting the mail don't respond to that particular mail just verify the email from the sender okay from which sender you are getting right so one most probable thing is so if you are a fresher so you might be trapped by using this email email uh, phishing so you might get an email from the companies okay so just provide your uh, personal information sensitive information so just for verification okay and automatically being a fresher will be anxiety okay we will be having some curiosity that uh, will be getting an email from the company so just for verification so obviously we will provide that but before responding to any email not only the company email if it is even if it is a company email or if it is related to the banking email or if it is related to your college email whatever it may be just identify the email sender so from where you are getting the email so one thing you just remember if you are getting any email from the companies regarding the recruitment that email sender will be having the company email id it will not be coming from no, public email id right so it the sender sender email will be the complete uh, company domain okay once check that one and then only you respond it okay so don't respond blindly to the emails which you have received and the next one destroy the data after use so in our preparation or in our uh, regular daily work we are supposed to write some contact numbers some email ids some uh, receipt numbers etc etc on the papers etc on your notepad on system etc etc so once it was completed just destroy that one because we have seen one type of attack in social engineering attack that is uh, dumpster diving that, that means getting the information from the trash right so just destroy everything after the use so we should not disclose any kind of our information to the attacker so we should not take a chance right so these are the some preventive measures of the social engineering attacks so follow these things and don't be get affected by this social engineering attacks and one important thing 
just educate the public regarding these social engineering attacks right so i think many of them are not aware about the social engineering attacks so educate the public okay educate the public so that everyone will be safe right so hope you understood let's stop here and if you if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much